Hi, welcome to Earth Angel TV, the show created by Earth Angels for Earth Angels. I'm Michelle Gordon and I'm the author of the Earth Angel series and Where's My Fucking Unicorn? In today's episode I'm going to talk about communication. This is the topic of one of my classes in the Earth Angel Training Academy online, so if you want to check out those classes please do look at the links below. But in this episode I'm really going to focus on being clear in your communication and also really just getting the words out somehow. And what I mean by that is that there's so much that we just don't say, that we just don't tell people, that we just don't share with people, and there's so much that we hold inside. I've seen and experienced firsthand the results of holding everything in. And it either ends up that you hold in your frustration or anger with somebody for so long that it just bursts out at the most inappropriate moment, or it actually manifests in a physical complaint within your body. So for me, personally, I was in a situation where I was angry quite a lot a few years ago, quite a few years ago now, and it manifested in, and it, this had been manifesting for a few years up to this point, but this was the tipping point, was, was the anger. And basically I had just never really spoken out about how I felt or told people what I thought and it had manifested in a cyst on my thyroid and I literally had a lump in my throat, an actual physical lump. And when I was in a situation where I was angry a lot of the time and I really wasn't able to talk to the person and express myself, this lump actually started to choke me and it all resulted in, you know, having to have basically most of my thyroid removed, and that is not something that you want to be doing right now. And if you're into spirituality, you'll know that the throat chakra, which is situated in the thyroid area, which is a light blue colour, um, is all about communication, it's about speaking your truth, it's about speaking up, and of course I wasn't. So that was how it manifested in a physical, you know, complaint <laughs> um, in my life, because I really wasn't speaking up and I really wasn't um, expressing my emotions and my feelings and I wasn't even really writing at that point either. Um, I did some writing but not a lot so it doesn't necessarily have to be talking things out loud although I think that's still one of the most powerful ways to express yourself. You could also write your feelings, you could draw, you could paint, you, you just need to express yourself in a way. I mean if there is somebody that you really want to tell something and you just can't, write them a letter. I mean I have done that in the past. When I haven't been confident enough, haven't been, um, you know, sure of myself enough to be able to say face to face or even over the phone to this person, like, this is what I'm thinking, this is how I feel, this is what it's about. I've written letters and yes, you could write a letter and then burn it and never send it to them because just the act of expressing it is enough, but I have actually sent people letters. I have actually sent people messages saying, look, this is the deal. When you did that, that's how I felt. I couldn't express it at the time, but I need to express it now or, you know, I've been thinking this for a long time and I've just never spoken up. Whatever it is that you are holding on to, let it out. And I don't advocate, you know, screaming and shouting at people. I mean, sometimes that happens. But generally, if you've been holding on to something for a long time, you can usually find a way to express it to someone without needing to scream and shout. But scream and shouting has its place because if you don't, it's, it's like if you've ever seen an animal sort of experience something and then straight afterwards they'll like shake. <laughs> they are literally shaking the adrenaline off, they're shaking the energy out. And expressing how you feel is a way of shaking that out. And if you don't, you are burying it. You are keeping it in your body and that is not healthy for you. And it's not healthy then for your relationship with the person in question because there's always that strain. You know, I mean, there's been times when something's happened and I've not said anything for years, you know, not even just months, but years. And then when I've finally spoken up and said, hey, look, when that happened, oh my gosh, that made me feel like this. And so that has coloured our relationship for these last few years. And most of the time, the other person has absolutely no idea that that's how you felt. And if they had, they would have cleared the air or apologised or done whatever needed to do, make men's. And so you end up holding on to these things for no reason. So crystal clear communication, show up, be authentic and don't be afraid to speak out and say to that person, this is how I feel, this is what's going on, I need to tell you this, otherwise I'm going to bury it 
and it's going to turn into something malignant. So talk to people, express yourself to people, and if you can't say the words physically, and I know how that feels, I really genuinely do. I've been in a situation where I just can't even voice my feelings, I just can't get the words out, then write them a letter, send them a message, do something, because otherwise you could end up years later, years down the line, sort of finally saying, oh by the way, and I felt this about the situation, and they would have no idea, and then you've wasted all that energy for no reason. So be clear in your communication, find ways to express yourself, and if you do find this really difficult, one of the things I, I think has really helped me is EFT. And there's lots of other episodes I've done on EFT, and there's tons of stuff on the internet, so if you are having trouble finding the words and getting the words out, then use EFT to do that. And comment below. You tell me. Do you find it hard to communicate with people that you love? Do you find it hard to communicate with people how you feel? You know, do you always think of the, the best ever comeback or reply six hours later? That's, that's pretty typical. Um, so yeah, comment below. Let me know how you feel about actually being able to show up and authentically be yourself without the fear of upsetting people or pissing people off, because they you might upset people and you might piss people off, but generally it'll only be in that moment and then the air is cleared and you can move on. So thank you for watching this episode, I will see you again next week and please do check out my other videos and books. See you next time!